Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm Anthony Marcelo. I'm 40 years old. I was born on the south side of Pennsylvania, Chippewa. I had uh, three sisters, one brother. I mean, we grew up with just my dad. We had a stepmom. I mean, it was just like any other middle, lower class family. We uh, we also struggled, to, like you know, a lot of people struggle throughout the day and throughout their life. I mean. Uh, my real mom, she's in prison right now for life for running somebody over. I had a, a brother commit suicide. I mean, I just lost my grandma two weeks ago. I mean, we, we was all right. We was just an ordinary, regular, lower-class family trying to make it. I went to Hamilton. I went to Frable. I went to Central Valley. I went to Roosevelt. I got an 18-year-old daughter from the Cochran that just had a baby about what, April 20, I mean, March 29. Um, what did your, um, what was taught in your household growing up? Like, what do you remember? I mean, my dad and them always uh, teach us to use respect, use our, uh, our our manners. I mean, it was, it was a nice family. They really taught you about your morals, about your values. You know, self-respect, respecting others. Um, my dad worked two jobs. My mom worked a job and another side job. So we just talked to work for, you know, what we got. That's why I don't like just asking. I usually wash windows around. Did you graduate? No, I didn't graduate. My daughter graduated two years early. I could have, though. What yeah. happened when once you didn't I graduate, then what? Okay, then what did you do with your life? What happened with life then yeah. at that point? I don't know. I just went to the streets. <coughs> I've been out here since I was like 14. Who introduced you to that? Me. <laughs> what made you want to go to the streets? Because I like, I like being outside. And I like city life. What jobs have you had over your life? I've done Tuck Point, uh, Brick Lane, Foundation, Bar Backing, Roofing, Tile Roofing, Slayton Tile Roofing, Plastic Homes. Who so taught you those skills? Kind of taught myself or the people that I work for training. Most likely is just watching. I mean, a lot, a lot of things in life self-explanatory what the job is. What made you stop doing it? Doing what? Um, the brick, the brick work. I just moved. I moved down to Texas. How long were you in Texas? Seven years. How was your experience like in Texas? I like it. It's beautiful out there. And they help their homeless people out there. Plenty of jobs. You come back. My brother committed suicide in 2010. That's the only reason I came back. I had a job doing car detailing, an apartment, a car, and a, uh, a, a chick I had met, uh, talking with, hanging out with. Did you did you think about going back? Yeah, kind of. I don't know now. I don't know. I got my daughter up here. I'm probably just stay here. Like been How's your relationship with your other siblings? I don't know. I don't talk to them. I don't ask for nothing. How's your relationship like with your with your dad? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's, we we ain't got nothing against each other. I mean, we, I walk through like, hey, dad, I love you and all that. It's pretty good. I just don't see him because he works a lot. What's your plan? Well, I think I might. I was thinking about going to Springfield after this because I'm a parking attendant for the Cardinal games after the season over. With. I think I'm going to Springfield. Why Springfield? Cause that's where my daughter's at now, with my grandbaby. She said there's plenty of jobs down there, and they don't discriminate. What discrimination have you uh, faced over time? Discrimination and judgment of just being homeless. What is the biggest stereotype you think you face with being homeless? What do you think people, how do people think look? we're all drug addicts? Think we all do hard, hardcore drugs, smoke crack or shoot dope? 
and set the record straight with that as far as you're concerned. What what are you into? I smoke weed. I barely barely do that. I can't afford it. What what kept you from the harder substances? Watching how they are when they're on it. How they are when they're on it and when they off on it. I'm good. I'm not sick of needle in my arm. When was the last time you talked to your mom? Um, a couple of weeks ago. She works at American Center right here. At the uh, American Center, Convention Center. How's you guys' relationship pretty cool? I mean, me and my stepmom, we get along. We good. No, I mean your real mom. I don't see her. She's in prison. No, I'm saying you don't talk to her either. No. We ain't seen her since I was five. But she got locked up. What's your best childhood memories? The fishing, I like fishing, being in the country, swimming. I like it. I like it going on the lake and just jumping in the water, hanging out in the lake, looking at those arts. When was the last time you went fishing? Last year. What else do you like to do for fun? I like to draw. I like to draw and I can play basketball a little bit. What do you like to draw? Whatever. Whatever comes to mind. I like to draw graffiti, cartoon characters, stuff like that. If you could go back in time and speak to a young Mr. Anthony, knowing what you know today, what would you tell him? I would have told myself you should have made the right decisions. <laughs> made, we made the right choices. Well, All right, is that it? I'm hot as hell. Yes, sir. I Thank appreciate you, you uh, taking time out with us, Mr. Thank Anthony. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank yes, you, sir. sir.